folks and welcome to another Richard Head Longbows video and Richard has actually joined me in the workshop today because we can, um, although that's been banned for four months mm, or yeah, more whatever or it is <laughs> and like everybody else we've been going through our loft and other hidden places <laughs> trying to find stuff, um, cash in the attic and all that sort of thing. I mean, might have hit the jackpot. <laughs> or at least something of vague interest. What did you find, Dad? Right, looking through one of my boxes of stuff that I take to lectures and just talk to the members of the public, I found some original, medieval, or possibly er even earlier than that, arrowheads. Ah, so the real thing. They yeah. did. This one is a tanged head, and it was found in the Thames, uh, by one of the mudlarks. You're allowed to search for stuff in the Thames if you have a license to do it. That's possibly a Viking Age head. Not very sure, but it's that of that style. Uh, there is another one, uh, very similar, but slightly smaller. Still a tanged, tanged head. Wow, quite interesting. Oh yeah, the tangs are sort of bent over a bit over the years. And that's uh, being protected in the Thames, in, in the mud, which tends to preserve wow. things very well. What else have we got? Um, this one, which is a bodkin type, that was found on one of the battlefields in France. We don't know which battlefield, but it was. Uh, it's still got some of the wood in the socket. Oh, yeah. The tip is just slightly bent over, may have hit some armour, who knows, may have just hit a stone in the ground if it missed. <laughs> uh, so that's a, an interesting head going back to the 1300s, 1400s probably. Wow. Mm. Uh, that one, not sure where that came from. Again, it's a head with some short barbs on it. Uh, probably a hunting hunting head with a, a socket. Wow. That's quite interesting shape, that one. Very thin, isn't it? Gosh. Yes, yeah, it is. What else have we got? Uh, and that one, which I think was found in a, an antique shop. Again, with a socket and a barbed head. The ends of the barbs have either broken off or they were deliberately cut like that. I'm not sure. But, um, that one's uh, slightly the worse for wear, but it's say, obvious what it is. You can see sort of the age of that one yeah. a bit more. I mean, it is remarkable with all these things that they survived as well as they, exactly. uh, as they have. Um, it, uh, it is remarkable. That's quite got a small board sort of socket on there. There's not a lot of room for wood in that. No, one. there isn't. So no. it must be said, but we don't know how much of the socket has actually survived. You see yes, it could have been longer than that. Yeah. Well, there you go. You never know, folks, what you might find nope. lying around the house that you forgot you had. Mm, probably, yes, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> so it's always worth looking through all those nooks and crannies and all those boxes that are lying around. Boxes that you haven't opened since you moved from the last house that you were in <laughs> that's still marked kitchen or yes. living room that you still haven't got around to opening. <laughs> So there you are, you never know what you might find. And if you have found something interesting during the lockdown, or just in general, let us know in the comments below. We'd like to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Good.